Hi, everybody. This is Marlene, and we would like to bring in what I'm going to call April Fresh into your home. This is a quick tip, okay, for what I am doing in my house, okay? I don't have any pets, but you might, and you may know people that do. I have um, owned my own cleaning business for a long time, and when I used to do homes, okay, I had this awesome orange cleaner, and it would last in their houses for days and days. And they would contact me and say, my house smells so good. What did you use? And I'd laugh. Well, you can no longer get that cleaning stuff, okay, which is fine. But here we go. What we can do, okay, you got cats, dogs, um, you know, just smells, all right. Um, and they get stuck into the um, sofa and curtains and things like that. So, as you can see, I have opened the door on the video and <clears throat> allowing the aroma, okay, of coffee, we all know that it smells pretty good, to flow through the home and wake up the house, okay? Because the energy in the house, the feng shui of the house, um, is yin or yang, okay? Yin energy is calming, quiet, uh, blah, okay? <laughs> where yang is um, joy energy, kind of pickup energy, okay. Um, where they have cats, dogs, kids, you know, company, things like that, music playing. Um, and then we have a balance in the home where we bring quiet and we bring a little noise and we balance the energy. Now we want to balance the aroma of your house. Now, there is a very quick little cure if you have pets and things like that. You know how your house can start to smell like the dog or the cat litter box, which is disgusting. Okay, as we know. Um, so at the local $1 store, you can get some dryer sheets, okay, um, for $1. And also softener for your laundry all right <laughs> downy all right smells really good it's fresh it's fragrant all right you know how your laundry smells when you use that okay you get the little container of that you get out your bucket all right fill it up with water or if you have a mop like mine where you can fill your container with anything you want I fill it almost to the brim with the hot water, you know, and I put in the downy just a little bit, you know, and I do the whole house with it. All right. Cleaning the house. All right. We're doing that. Yes, you can still, you know, clean with your other products or whatever you're using, but if you want your house to smell good. This is a tip. Your laundry smells great, right? So we want your home to smell like a fresh garden, fresh laundry. Um, so dryer sheets, they have gain and things like that, which are $9 at Walmart, okay? So <laughs> you wanna save eight bucks? So well, $1, everything's a dollar. Go in there, all right? Um, and then get the, um, softener so i like the uh downy so you pour a little bit of that mop your floors okay wash out your sinks with it um with a you know cloth a little bit of that dip it in the uh, bucket of water wash out your sinks you know pour a little bit a uh, cup full of it in the toilet bowl right close the lid you know freshen it up in the house cat litter boxes when you clean them out, you know, take them outside, clean that out, um, then take the hose to it, right? Clean it out, um, put in your uh, Clorox or whatever to get the germs out, okay? And then, all right, put a couple of um, drops of the liquid softener, the laundry softener, 
in the cat litter, believe it or not, underneath the cat litter box and the dog bed, okay? Put the dryer sheets, all right? Same thing, okay? Um, the sofas, if they smell like the dog, all right? And you don't want to throw out your sofa. Take the laundry sheet, okay? Rubber gloves, whatever. Rubber gloves will take the fur off of the sofa. Using the dryer sheet, okay? Especially gain. Gain dryer sheets are great. If you can take the smell, okay, it's strong, but it smells good. Um, rub it around on the sofa, all right, along the back, the top of the sofa, the arms, the cushions. And if you can take the cushions off, leave them underneath the cushions, okay? I'm giving you quick tips, and they work. Um, people will come in your house, and they'll say, ugh, you know what I mean? Um, things like that. You can also take the dryer sheets which are good to get rid of fleas, rubbing the pets with them, like when you're petting your pet, okay? So we are doing quick tips today, which are brilliant ideas that I use. Um, people that go outside, mosquitoes, right? Dryer sheets, okay? Rubbing your, you know, your clothing with dryer sheets, all right? And your skin, too, because that's not going to hurt you. Your shoes, all right? Deferring the bugs. Um, they don't like that. All right, another remedy for fleas, if you get bit and things like that, when you go outside or in your house, is lemon. They hate lemon, all right? If you have fleas, um, and they'll say set flea traps in your house, right? And you, don't like, you don't like poison. Dawn dish soap in little bowls or whatever, pie tins with water. There's your flea traps, all right? You can set a little light on the little bowl here and there, and the fleas will go in there and drown, all right? Um, they jump, right? So yeah, they go for the light, right? So we wanna get rid of those little pests. If you have little cats, dogs, and different animals, rabbits and gerbils and whatever, you know, they don't bother the fish, of course, because they were drowned in there. All right. But anyway, that's my video for right now. Let me know um, if it helped you, um, gave you some ideas, right? Uh, I like to um, do different kinds of videos. And the energy right now in your home needs a shift. It needs a lift, right? So grab a cup of coffee, cup of tea, cup of juice, some water, um, turn on the music and start using this, these tips, okay? Thank you so much for joining me here. Have a great night and beautiful energy. Namaste.